Hello everybody, and welcome to another video of Pro Wrestling Sim with my Wisconsin All-Star Wrestling promotion. And this episode is kind of a little bit of a different episode because I don't have the show booked. And so within this episode, I'm going to kind of show you like what can I do behind the scenes a little bit um, as far as setting up the show and everything. And um, kind of looking at some prospects and also making sure I do open up a promotion um, at the end of this event. Or I could do it at the beginning of this month. That way I know who may be taken for my roster. Which might as well do right now. I'll open up for this one will be one. Um, one for this month and trying to pick a random state that hasn't been opened yet. We're going to go with New York. Make them active. And so they are active. We're going to simulate uh, a couple of days or a few days, like three days. Sounds good. The way I know who was taken from me, if anyone. Um, it looks like nobody has been taken because otherwise I would have gotten an email saying hey they've offered a contract to you know John Doe or um, Jane Smith so uh, so we have two promises that we have to accomplish but we still have to finish our tournaments obviously the Killian James dude um, as I'm going to go through my binder here because I have everything all written down. Plus, we could also look at the uh, tournament thingamabobber. Uh, thing. So, overall, we've had... Um, and the people that are gone is because I either released them. Um, yeah, I released them because otherwise they wouldn't have been gone. Uh, due to they lost and this is like a contract match um, tournament so um, Killian James and Ryan Dominguez has to uh, have their match and the women's we've got to the semifinals so it'll be one match per instead of two matches I was kind of doing two matches to kind of speed it up and then obviously like I said the people that are gone are um Released, but some of these people, like Haley Strickland, Laura Leon, Jordan Rush, were three girls from our partner partnering um, promotion of Minnesota All Star Wrestling. So we used some of their roster people since I figured out the um, feature and how to do that. Um, so we have Laura Leon and Riley McCarthy um, to book, and then. Killian James and Ryan Dominguez, but Killian James is going to be double booked today because um, I promised Alex Adams for a single win at first because you may have saw within the previous video that or previous two videos that his contract was like coming up to expire, but I decided to sign, uh, renegotiate and then sign him like a long term deal um, so that way he is covered. As far as um, being on the team for a while, uh, because as of right now, he may not be used. Like, there's a couple of guys that aren't used right now, but with learning the game out, every single time you renegotiate, it may go up like 20, 40 bucks. So, and that 20, 40 bucks can be crucial for some degree, but as of right now, it's not necessarily crucial. But our budget is going downwards, it's not going up anytime soon until we get a certain popularity. And overall, obviously, we haven't hit our 70% mark. We've gotten close as to 66 this year. Um, but we haven't gotten that mark of 70. And overall, I'm going to go to storylines as well. Because as of right now, this Anna Becker, Zoe Matthews, it doesn't seem like it's growing. It's gone through a lot of... Um, segments as you can see here and it just keeps staying at 53 so I'm going to end it even though Zoe Matthews 
now does have um, the title, but I'm just going to end the storyline. So there's going to be like no pop coming from it. Um, Louister and Butch, uh, they're progressing pretty well. Um, went from 44 to 57 and now is 71, so it's boosting it up a little bit. Um, the Cruz Brothers with uh, Kings of Royalty um, tag team because uh, the Kings of Royalty have been like losing and everything lately, so um, just wanted to get them kind of a little bit of boost, but not necessarily um, to, how do you say it, like, that they deserve a title match right away because they've been losing every single time to Athlete Central. So kind of boosting their attributes and um, boosting their overall, like, morale or rating and stuff like that. So we have Quadus and Matthias doing pretty well at a 74. Um, then we got Rain Grimes and Nunez. I think I may end these girls as well. It's not going pretty well, and Nunez keeps like losing every single match that they're in. So um, I'm going to end it as well. So that one is done. Then Jaden Cooper and Javen Ibori have been working pretty well with each other. So um, these are kind of the storylines. So we have four storylines. We're going to add more to it. But first, we're going to at least add the matches that we do need. Which is... We're going to add, or at least segments to it that we need. And Javen I Bori. Or no, not. They're going to be in something different. Was it Billy Klein? Ryan Dominguez. Make it a 10 minute match. That's what I've been kind of doing. It's been working well with the segments. And then I have this. Let's see those women go here as um, kind of speeding up, but I will also say because you can add gimmicks like TLCs and stuff like that, but within the options, it do it seems like it doesn't sound like it's like kind of straightforward. Oh, this is a TLC or this is a steel cage and this and that. Like there's an option of it's going to cost you like 5,000 more. And it could be anything. And it doesn't like kind of specifically say like false or like things towards like false count anywhere and stuff like that. So it's kind of like just singles and championship ma matches that I've kind of created and also storyline matches that I've uh, added into it. But it has to be at an 80 overall and gone or 80 percent um he like heat and everything rating and it has to go through at least six segments so like right now um the closest one is that matthias and quadis but they've only gone through two segments so it would have to be a while until i can hit that uh gimmick so to speak for the match to have it be very useful um and that's good it's singles and you know potential 238 so now it's the local spurts hall is going to be like our kind of venue now um and it like changes every single time you click out of something or whatnot so it's not overall um what the specific number is because as soon as i had a match it's going to change from either to 218 going below or above it so um but I'm also going to add an angle. Um, going to add Jane Cooper. It's going to be like three minutes. Um, let me get a two minute promo. I make it five minutes and then change it to receives medical attention. 
two minutes. Maybe move this to two minutes. Or that can be longer than two minutes. I'm gonna make it four. There. That way it kind of so um so you check mark that hey I added um Jaden and Javen into it. So um I have to go back to the tournament thing again to see you. So Laura Leon and Riley McCarthy. Okay. Uh so we go there. Minnesota, because we're going to add a match. And Laura Leone's right there. Let me go back. Workers. Where's Riley? Scrolling down. There she is. 10 minute match. She's also part of a stable, so I'm gonna add Money is Reality to her corner. Go all the way down, singles women, close, save the match. It's at 208 right now, but if we were to like move this, maybe that. Yeah, it just all depends overall. Um gonna add a match. We're gonna have Maxim Cruz against Oh Okay. Uh, I know what to do. Uh but because I was kind of thinking because I have to do the promises and whatnot. So we're going to have Bo Davies. And then down below. Zerub in the corner. Okay, Cruz. Going to be a 10-minute match. Uh, like, I kind of have, like, TLC because of, like, injury risk, huge fatigue. Uh, major spot increase cost like the show costs will go up and stuff like that but I don't know I tried to maybe a Royal Rumble so to speak but who knows if I'll try it so that is good and then we can add a match Javen That's like get Gabriel wants title opportunity. We'll give it to him. Um Do that. That's set. Save match. Hmm, what else? Because then I also sometimes have to go kind of event histories. So there's been already some shows that have happened already within the month. But if you go to like Wisconsin only then we go to May as ours has 238 people so like for this Quadus um, they only had an angle involving each other so they probably could have a match wrestling each other or um, plus I have to add another match of kind of want to make it like a five minute match of Billy Klein Alex Adams make it a five minute match because he's already doing double duty 
Singles. Wanted to promise so he could be like the first match. And then he wrestles his um, tournament match. Stuff like that. Um, so then I'll add a match. Quadus. Thias do singles because they kind of did their spiel. No championship. Yeah, because he like I'll move it like these guys are the main eventers, and it will just change randomly. We're gonna need another angle though. Um, since Anna Becker is basically done for a little bit for right now, and I feel like who would be next up, but it's... I think I'll have to do this because the next person who's been really showing the true grit is Rain Grimes, but she is a arrogant heel, and face preferred to position as a heel, but come. turn face and become a badass and then um that's what we can do at story beats do a promo ring grimes she's gonna do it on zo matthews like a five minute promo maybe maybe less three minute promo she's not entering anything so let me save it she does it towards the beginning and then uh, stables but uh, we don't need attack entrance A two minute entrance. Uh, not attacking. She does talking. For like three minutes. And then. Do, 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 do. Rain Grimes she takes two minutes, comes in. I have a sparring match. Three minutes. Do matches made. Next week that they wrestle each other. 
And then we'll use Cody Horn, even though he's not the best rated, but. Kind of towards the end, like before. Because it's like, so Matthews has an open challenge and Rain Grimes is willing to come out. And so, bet we could add one more angle. Oh, we have to add uh, Butch. Uh, Butch and Luister. We have to add that. What do they do? Main fence. They had an angle. So they just need a match. Or. Hmm. And I'm just kind of thinking of, like, who you should face. If it's, like, you know, Egon that's on a different tag team or... Oh, no, it was Killian James, not Billy Klein, right? Might have messed this up. Oh, Billy Klein and that, but Killian James... For that. And then the promise was Killian James. So, oops. At least I caught it now before the show starts. So that is fixed. Uh, what could? Let's wait. Yeah, they probably just wrestle. So no, every event championship should be towards the back end. I know these guys probably need to get moved. Um, or these guys start out the show. No, or if kind of easier to do it or maybe not because these guys are in kind of a good rivalry so to speak I feel like that will be better because then it's kind of like a I wouldn't say a hot storyline but a storyline happening then the promise and something happening then a tournament, tournament, 
storyline, st storyline, with the storyline part of it, uh, another part of the storyline, and storyline. <laughs> and then what we can do is go to storylines, create one, all the way down with her, her. There we go. Create it. This is going to be nothing. And then Quadus, Cruz got them. Got that. Got that. It's been going pretty well. So we could do the max time of 31 more minutes, but I think this is good. Or. I wonder if we do this. Um, or we still do this, but add add like an angle of video him for five minutes put it right there or so that or right there but I think yeah maybe right there will work <laughs> and then move this Ah, uh, screw it. Be right there, that way it's two matches, segment, two matches, segment, two matches, segment involved, segment, and then a match. So that is our show for this. So if there's no interruptions, we are going to simulate to the 24th. Since I've added New York email, time has come to give a championship around my waist. I'll accept it. I'll try. She wants it in December, which is plenty of time. Maybe like the every event championship or something. I always do it the day before, that way, even though it won't sim through your event date, but... I also get tired of that push that Riley has been getting. We should reduce her push. Why should I reduce it? It's going kind of decent right now. I'm rejecting it. You're just jealous because you're not used as much. That's literally what it is. Like, you had a tag team. She left because she became an owner or a uh, um, booker somewhere else. And I don't know what to do with you. And now since I'm using somebody else, you're on my roster. You're just sitting there. So it's kind of hard. For you to fantasize or to think about that you're just sitting on the sidelines and not doing anything. When Anna Becker and whatnot, the plan that I did have is kind of fizzed out because of other things happening. I can't control that 
Janiah went to a different company to become an owner slash booker, whatever she was. And then the trio tags got eliminated because of she did that. And then Anna Becker and Zoe Matthews are kind of like fizzing out because all they do is get a 53% rate for the thing and it's not growing. When these past few events it's been, you know, whether it be just an angle or a match or overall in general. So, um, don't know what to tell you. And I don't have another tag team partner for you, but I also could push you as a singles individual. But, um, you've lost the tag team a couple of times and eventually I'll put you in as singles and push you, but... Not at the moment. We can do that. Before the 25th of July. Okay, I was going to say, watch that be like just before the next event, but... And I can put you in a match with Abby Perry. We can take that away, or we can take the expirations away. Alright, so we have our show. And sorry if this is getting pretty long, because I just wanted to show what I all do to put it together. Um, and everything, going back and forth on some screens, because I'll forget. Um what is all happening and with the tournaments and everything just trying to making sure that I do the right matches otherwise it's gonna take a little bit longer and I just want to run it as smooth as possible so I think we're all set starting off with a you know storyline a decent one and then I get into Alex Adams wanted a match against Killian James to show who's boss and then the what's going to be coming up a storyline and then um a title um tournament match for the semifinals going into the finals and then um this is the other semifinal match uh to go into the final and then the person who is waiting for the winner of this match so Takaru waiting for Ryan or Killian to win and then another storyline, storyline, storyline. It's not necessarily it has to be in that order. It's just kind of with, you kind of have to go along variation with also the pushes that you have and the star power and the abilities of what they can do to produce a good product when it comes to the show and everything. So, and I also kind of use this kind of little thing to indicate something if, um, if it's good or not because of, um, I have two backstage staff people that are at a hundred percent for agent, which knows, um, how good segments will run with each other. So, um, that's kind of a good indication. So we can start the show. We'll confirm it and our first, um, match overall is Maxim Cruz versus Bo Davies, and Bo Davies won. So he gained point two. Maxim didn't gain anything. Um, 48%. It's not the greatest to start off with. Hopefully it gets better. Um, his ceiling skill was good. He put a huge effort. Maxim Cruz explosive. Good looks at Bo Davies. Vocal crowd loved it. And Maxim Cruz helped everyone learn from the segment. 79% match quality, but just overall rating 48%. And 63, um, crowd 100% crowd reaction, but a 63, like, rating. Um, so we have a next match, Alex Adams versus, um, Killian James at a 54%. The looks of Alex Adams, Killian James had a boost of his gimmick, star power of Killian James, um, the vocal crowd, uh, were in love with the segment, the stage... Look good. Killian James won, so Alex Adams did not win. And he lost point one and Killian James gained point two. So eighty-five percent match overall rating, fifty-four percent, 
72% overall rating when it comes to 100% crowd reaction. We have a 71% um, on Rain Grimes cuts a promo on Zoe Matthews. The air, the arrogant gimmick of work best with the story beat, the star power, the good looks, and the star power of Zoe Matthews. Um, turn face, and it was a success. So, um, for turning into a face, so a seventy-one percent crowd reaction, which is good. We have 57, so we drop back down a little bit, um, but we're still going up. So, Laura Leon goes um, up into the final. So, Riley McCarthy had a boost of her gimmick, the intimidating presence of Riley. Riley was struggling with breath. The vocal crowd were in love with the segment, and Laura Leon gained point two, and Riley MacArthur lost point one. So 57 overall rating, one and a half star match, or two and a half, I should say, not one and a half. 71 percent rating, and also an 80 percent um, used for that segment. We got a 52 three star match. Killian James wins, so he moves up into the final. So he's on double duty of winning. Um, star power, Ryan Dominguez, he was struggling for breath. Killian James had a boost of his gimmick. Star power for him, and he was struggling for breath. And then they have decent chemistry as opponents, and it helped the match quality. For a three star match, um, 52%. Um, and Killian James gained point two, and Ryan Dominguez lost point one. So it's good to know in the future um, they work together as decent opponents. And the absolute value used was 71%, and then 76% match quality, and then applied of 73%, and this 72. So. And we had a 75% of uh, this segment of Takuro Sugawara. Star power and good looks of him helped the story beat. Kind of doing a video of him. Of kind of like, hey, congratulations for making it into the final. You're going to be facing the winner of who just wrestled last um, last match. So he'll be wrestling Killian James for a long contract. Even though he has a good star power, so I'm keeping him probably anyway if you were to lose but and i think same with like killian james it kind of like defeats the purpose of the tournament but it's like if i can snag good um quality people be a part of it to try and see who can win like the longest contract um probably be that so 75 percent for a segment rating and then we had butch taylor and louister um louister wins again um, Butch Taylor hasn't won, but working with Butch Taylor, everyone learns from the gimmick. His selling skill was good, huge effort, explosive style, and Lewister was struggling for breath, vocal crowd, stage camera quality, all the same. Four-star match at 83%, and 78% for crowd reaction, and uh, 79%. True score um, was 79%, so final score of 57%. And we got a 61%. Um, and Javen Abori successfully retains. Uh, Jane Cooper was at ringside kind of for um, the storyline purposes and everything. The intimidating presence of Gabriel added. He was struggling for breath. The vocal crowd were in love with the segment. And he, um, Gabriel lost point one, And then Javen didn't gain anything. And then after the match, Javen I Bori um, uh, was attacked by Jane Cooper. And then good looks, star power. And the cocky gimmick of Jane Cooper, star power, good looks. Probably should have, after cutting a promo, probably should have ended it. And then, but he also received medical attention. So 52%, 56% overall. And then we have um, 
we have uh, Aubrey, Zoe, and Abby make appearance to the ring. Good looks and star power Zoe. So Matthew talks. Kind of like winning the championship still or having it still and, you know, opening up for an open challenge. And Rain Grimes comes down with star power and good looks. They do, they engage in a uh, verbal sparring match. And then Cody Horn makes a match involving Zoe Matthews and Rain Grimes um, for the next event. What do I have to do? Change character? And it was a success. Okay. So she is going from an arrogant heel to a badass face. So, um, 60%. So, not too bad. It seems like we're creeping up and we got 70s and 60s. So, hopefully, it's, it's getting pretty close. And then we had a 69% for a final match of Quadus had a boost of his gimmick. Star power of Quadus. Matthias had a boost of his gimmick. Star power. Intimidating presence of Matthias. Um,. Local crowd was in love with it. Um, stage looked good, camera quality, and he gained 0.2 for Matthias, and Quadis didn't um, gain anything. So 98% for crowd reaction, 87% match quality, and the true score of the segment is 96%. That's quite high. On the show, at a 62. All right, so we're probably because of the 48% and a couple low 50s. Um, otherwise, I think if the rest of them were 60, we would have close to 68%-ish. Um, we're kind of going downhill a little bit, but overall it's a grind. It's trying to find the bits and pieces to put them together. So, um, And overall, uh, we'll end the show... I'll get two email, well, three emails because of the promises. Only two. Um, you kept your promise. Per relationship. So we had 261 people with 2,740. So I know I've mentioned before, um, when it came to ticket sales that I said like 7,000. Um, for the first year, overall, it was 5,564 that was overall calculated. Um, and the highest one was like 496 um, for 71 people. And we've been growing drastically. Um, so we're going from the first show of this... Um, Uh, the first show of, like, this season year, um, we had 114 on the first show, and we had 1,512, and then the next one was 100, because I accidentally, uh, didn't select the other, uh, the one that I just picked, because it was the max of 100, so we had 100, then we had 215, then we had 202, and the past event before this one was 238. Now we're at 261. So we're getting up there um, slowly but surely. And we're gaining 0 0.3 every single time. So um, this will be 1.8 that we've gained within the first six events. Which is crazy. Because we will have more than 2.1 this entire because after that it's 2.1 and obviously we're supposed to grow um, I would like to grow more because of our bonuses but we haven't even hit 70% yet so and Jane Cooper Javen went down one percentage um, Butch and Luister stayed at 57 um, Bo Davies Kid Cruz heat at a 52% so I think that kind of stayed Matthias and Quadis went up to a 72. And, or it went down to, because it was at a 74. And then 66 for Rain and Zoe Matthews. So, um, yeah, overall, we're bringing in the people. Um, next show will be the other semifinal for the women's. And we'll... 
kind of do those. I think we're going to do this Killian and James one. We'll kind of do both ending tournaments on the same time. So the women have one more match to do. Because Laura Leon won that match. So, um, yeah, so D'Angelo and Jordan um, have to face each other. And then we'll do the every event championship. Oh, well, we could just end the other tournament um, next one because it is just a contract. It's not necessarily a, a title, but I think we're going to end them both at the same time. So um, the contract one is going to take a break and then resume with the final of Takaru and Killian James. Um, and then with this one, it's going to have D'Angelo and Jordan face each other. The winner of that um, faces Laura Leon. And um, we'll have the final um, that next event. So overall, it's coming well. Trying to figure stuff out um, when it comes to... Uh, segments and matches and what all needs to be happened um but i guess the singles uh win won't happen because i thought alex adams would win against killian james um that event so the relationship will go down a little bit and that's fine but we are close to four we're at 3.9 um, overall for f uh, the popularity. And we're going to simulate to the next month as well before I completely end this video. And hopefully um, you've enjoyed this video. Sorry it's been a little long. And Mateo Pennington leaves Minnesota. Um, I wonder if it was contract wise, um, which happens, we'll just go to news, uh, there's DUI, oh no, oh, so it's kind of like real world, um, and there's rehab. I haven't had to send anybody from re for rehab. Um, I've had people who failed the drug test, and then they're like, okay, I'll clean myself. Um, uh, and then the suspension is kind of like uh, they could be on drugs or alcohol or something like that. So... Um, They cancel it. Probably didn't have the staff for it, so they canceled it. Contract expiry, so Mateo Pennington. I'm going to take a look at him quick. Push request to Carlos Guevara. Um, yes, if you win this, uh, if you win this tournament I'll give you a push so one way or another yeah you may not be going for the title title but we're gonna go to all workers and search But he's still with Illinois and Iowa. So he's currently a uh, Michigan tag team, Illinois All Star Wrestling. He was All Star Wrestling Championship for Minnesota. And he's Illinois tag team as well. 
And so far, he's been in the Illinois Tag Team, Iowa Tag Team, Illinois All Star, Michigan Tag Team, and Michigan or Minnesota All Star. And right now, he has three championships. He has 83 power, 45 wrestling skill, entertainment, 93. Um, I'm going to give it a pass because I have a decent amount of people anyway. But we're going to see overall if there's anyone that I could possibly like shortlist people. I'll shortlist her. She's unemployed right now. I already have. Um, oh, she's with a lot of promotions. She's currently the. Alaska All-Star Women's Champion. So she's with Arkansas, Alaska, Colorado, Arizona, and Florida. She's 90 and 79. I'm going to shortlist her as well. Nixon Shepard. I think I'm going to shortlist him. He's 91 with 72. Because currently he has four titles. He is... He still has the women's all-star wrestling title. I thought I fixed that. Let's see. Let's see. Wrong tab. And I got all these titles. Says he currently has it. Says he currently has it, but it's not registering that he does have it. And help, so it has to be on titles. Um, North Dakota. I guess you can only go to the past three. Oh. None. Save changes. That should fix that. I'll sim to the final day. James Atkins. Let's take a look. Take a look. That's is a heel. All right. Well, I'm gonna take a look at him real quick, and then I will.
So he has 86, he's a 53 wrestling skill, 99 entertainment. I'm going to shortlist him. Um, driven to be the best, which is a good thing. So um, kind of like a wholesome face type deal. It's like if I could use him in a tag team, I'm not going to begin negotiations or anything, but um, no, he was made in this um, oh, uh, June 6th, and then he gets signed on the 30th. Not bad. He has a lot of popularity in Europe because oh, he's a North American, so I thought maybe that, but he has a lot of popularity in Europe, Oceania. North America is the third best, so overall. So hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Sorry it's a little lengthy one showing you everything that it's about like an hour long and seeing some people, some prospects that kind of looking at to see um, pick up in the future or anything. So um, when you shortlist them, um, it's kind of like sending email updates on hey this person did this at this event and stuff like that or just overall at, they're at this event and you can look at the event and see what they did so um it's kind of what that is uh there's no page for it because i kind of looked on the discord page and people were wondering um about the shortlist thing about bob and it, it's not fully implemented but you can shortlist um people kind of like a recruitment board so to speak you shortlist them you put put them on your radars and whenever um something were to happen with this individual um they will send you an email in regards to they were part of this event and stuff like that so um like i said if you've enjoyed the video um feel free to subscribe drop a like and uh if there's any suggestions comments concerns on this series that you've watched so far um, feel free to put that in the comments, um, and I could try to implement them if it's any, like, um, you know, criticism on, like, hey, you should do this, you should do that, um, so to speak, so, um, overall, have a good rest of your day.